Elizabeth leaves Westminster. The Queen is crowned, symbol of hope. Queen Elizabeth rides forth. Another extraordinary chapter has been written. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, has died at 96 years old. For many in Britain, Elizabeth II was the only living monarch they had ever known. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and to the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. Pomp and pageantry are the order of the day as Queen Elizabeth rides in the... During her reign, the Queen helped delicately modernize the monarchy to fit contemporary culture. Queen Elizabeth visited her North American realm. The Queen wore a long dress with a matching turban. Your Majesty, Queen Elizabeth... Making more than 260 official overseas visits and more than 95 state visits to over 115 countries, she was described as the most traveled head of state in the world by The Telegraph in 2012. At Buckingham Palace, she hosted leaders from President Kennedy to Pope John Paul II to Nelson Mandela. The Queen rose to make a speech live to the Commonwealth. When I was 21, I pledged my life to the service of our people and I asked for God's help to make good that vow. And God bless all of you. Born in 1926 to the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, she was thrust in direct line to the throne when her uncle Edward VIII abdicated and her father inherited the throne. When her father died in 1952, the Queen ascended to the throne at the age of 25. He it upon the Queen's head and removes his hands. The assemblage in one voice cries, God save the Queen. Queen Elizabeth, symbol of hope for the dawn of a new Elizabethan era. Long live the Queen. By then, she was married to Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who gave up his naval career to serve the Queen and nation. A former Greek prince, Philip gave up his Greek citizenship to become a British subject. He has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years. Together, the couple had four children and remained together until Philip's death in 2021. A patron of more than 600 organizations and charities, she enjoyed her leisure time surrounded by her beloved corgis and dorgies, giving shooting parties and breeding horses. The corgi has a long association with the Queen. Since the age of seven, she's owned over 30, but now has just two. And where did you come? I know what you want. <laughs> She is survived by her four children, eight grandchildren, and 12 great-grandchildren. I'm incredibly lucky to have my grandmother in my life. She's a remarkably energetic and dedicated guiding force for her family. George and Charlotte, too, will discover how lucky they are to have such a wonderful great-grandmother, a role model for the rest of their lives. We none of us will live forever. But we are doing this not for ourselves, but for our children and our children's children and those who will follow in their footsteps. <laughs>